And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday. It's the 16th of April, 2021. It's the birthday of the children's writer Gertrude Chandler Warner, born in Putnam, Connecticut, 1890. She taught first grade in the school there in Putnam, and one day when she was homesick, she thought up a story about kids who lived in an abandoned train car. And she brought it into her class, read it to her students, rewrote it until it was in very simple language that all the students could understand. And in 1924, she published it as The Boxcar Children, the story of Henry, Jesse, Violet, and Benny, orphans who take care of themselves living off the land until they're reunited with their grandfather. Some people thought it was a dangerous book, a bad influence, encouraging children to think they could get along fine without adults. But the boxcar children was very popular, and she wrote 18 sequels. She died in 1979, Ghost Riders continued the series, and there now are more than 100 boxcar children books. It's the birthday of Kingsley Amos, born in London, 1922, went to Oxford where he met Philip Larkin, who became his best friend, and who encouraged Amos to become a novelist. He at first wanted to be a poet, but Larkin helped him turn his sketches about campus life into his first novel, Lucky Jim. It's the birthday of Charlie Chaplin, born in London, 1889, who started out as a vaudeville actor in a comedy troupe, went to Hollywood, was shocked at how crude the movies were, started directing himself, and in the year 1914, he directed, wrote, and starred in 16 films in six months in which he invented his most famous character, The Little Tramp and he became a star recognized around the world. Here's a poem for today by Barbara Cooker entitled Rapture. Peepers, tiny tree frogs, punctuate the night, their small song, a promise of spring's return. Overhead the stars tap out their ancient stories, and a comet appears out of the darkest reaches of space from somewhere past Pluto. The last time it came by, the great pyramids were being built at Giza. Rome and Athens were still centuries away. Hunter-gatherers roamed the Illinois Valley, and the Inuit followed the rhythms of musk ox and caribou. Now, in the new millennium, we are bombarded daily with more information than we can process. The endless noise of television, more bad news than the human heart can stand. Standing here, alone, under the blackboard of night, away from any ambient light, everything I know falls away, and I'm back around the campfire, looking up at sparks flying in the dark, seeing the comet every night for weeks, its glowing heat, the luminous tail, 30 million miles long, streaming and pulsing like smoke from a single candle, a diaphanous scarf, the breath of God. I am standing alone in this black night, feet on the ground, mouth open, breathing in stars. Rapture, a poem by Barbara Crooker. That's the Writer's Almanac for Friday, April the 16th. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. April is National Poetry Month. This is Tim Russell hoping that you'll mark the occasion by supporting the Writer's Almanac. Please visit garrisonkeeler.com to make a contribution. And thank you.